Now, all of our pieces are cut out and we're actually ready to start fusing. So I've got my placement sheet ready. I have it sitting on top of my wool mat here. You can have it sitting on top of your ironing board. This just made it easier for our camera. Now this is my Teflon sheets. So I'm gonna lay my Teflon sheet right on top of my placement sheets. I'm gonna move this one off to the side. He's just a little extra piece, but he'll make uh, my fusing part of this a lot easier. So now on our Teflon sheet, each piece is numbered and I'm able to see through my Teflon sheet onto my placement marks on my numbers. So I'm gonna start with number one. Number one is this great big stump here. I've taken off my little fusible paper product and he's ready to be pressed onto place here. Number two is this little branch. So now I'm going to take my little branch, I'm going to peel away number two, and I'm going to lay him right on top of his location, lining up my one and two. Now with my iron, I'm going to give that just a quick little fuse so that they stick together. And what I'm doing is now I'm layering my applique so I can take this entire unit and put it onto my fabric rather than working with my fabric one little piece at a time and getting something in the wrong place. So this allows me to press it onto my fusible on my Teflon sheet and then once it is cool, I can just lift it up and I'll be able to put it on my uh, fabric. So my next piece is number two. Nope, number three. Number three is this little guy here. So I will go ahead and take that paper off of number three. You want me to get a pen? Nah, got it. Okay. So he's going to go off this way. Number four is this big stump. He's going to sit up here. Just lining everything up. Number five is this piece here. So I'm going to take number five and I'm going to align him up very carefully. And there's an overlap that's happening with this one. So again, I'm going to tap this with my iron just so that they begin to stick together. I don't want to fuse it really hard just yet. I just want a little um, adhesion happening here. Number six is my birdhouse platform. I'm going to set him and line him up into uh, his location. I'm going to give him another little tap since I have him in the right place. Number seven is my birdhouse. Purple really makes me happy. I love this purple color. And I've got that lined up. So I'm going to give him another little tap over here so that he's going to stay in place. Number eight is my, my um, birdhouse opening. Now, you'll see that I can't quite see through there. If I really want to be sure I'm getting it all in the same location, whoops, let's plug this guy in. I can take my light tablet, slide it underneath this, find my little birdhouse opening right there. I can see just the outline of it. Go ahead and slide it back out. And now I'm also ready to tap that one with the iron. Now I'm on to number nine. And I will continue to build my applique, careful piece by piece, because now this little guy joins this one. And so we're gonna give that a little securing there. Now, at this point, I can go ahead and let it cool and then I can just very gently lift up everything and lay it on my fabric. And so I'm ready to take this whole unit 
and lay it on top of my applique sheet. So we'll go ahead and take the Teflon sheet out. And so I'm actually ready to go ahead and lay this into here, place. Let me get this in a little higher. And to lay this into place here. All right. And then I can put that into place and voila, I'm ready to press this one down. But I'm actually gonna add a few more pieces before I go ahead and press, press this one onto my fabric. Um, just because I find it's easier to work with the Teflon first and then lay it onto my fabric piece. But I knew you didn't wanna stand here forever and watch us doing that. 